Coming up on Hands on iOS, we are back in the home app, folks. It is time for the next step. We're doing scenes, how to control multiple objects all at once and make it very simple, very quick, and even ask Siri to do it for you. Check it out. Hands on iOS is brought to you from LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. All righty, folks, so you've got the basics down now. We've taken that tour through the Home app. We've talked a little bit about what each screen offers you within the Home app. We've set up an accessory even, and now it's time to talk about scenes. So you can see under here, I've got my favorite scenes in line, and most of these scenes that you see here are actually for a specific product that I have. Uh, however, if you have a bunch of objects, say you've got a bunch of smart lights in your living room, and you want to be able to sit down for a movie and drop the lighting to the perfect level and be able to watch that film, well that is what scenes can do for you. You can set up scenes for going to bed at night, you can set up scenes for waking up in the morning, all sorts of things, but essentially it lets you not have to go through and tippity tap on each of these individual uh, icons to try and make the change happen. So instead, you set up a scene. So, as I mentioned, if you've been watching the videos, you know, you already know the way to set up a new scene. But in case you need a refresher, it's that little plus sign up in the top right corner. I tap on that plus sign, I tap add a scene, and we're ready to go. So you can see that uh, iOS automatically suggests some scenes that you should use. There's one for arriving home, which uses location. There's one for good morning, good night, and leaving home. Leaving home, of course, also uses your current location. I'm gonna leave those suggested scenes alone. Those are specific to uh, different situations that you might have, and I wanna set up a new scene. So I'm gonna tap the custom button, and then we gotta give it a name. Well, I'm gonna call this my uh, TV watching scene. So uh, let's watch TV, I think is a great name. So I will type in let's watch TV. And then this little icon here, you can actually change it. It's just a little bit of a reminder on what exactly the scene is for to go along with the actual title of the scene. So I'll tap on that. And look, there's popcorn. That's perfect for this scene. So I'll tap the popcorn button. I'll tap done. And then we start to add accessories. So adding accessories is the feature that you wanna use so that you can actually control the different products in your home, whichever ones you're wanting to use. So I'll tap on add accessories. And you can see here that iOS makes it very simple to choose the accessories that you want to control. And even if you wanna control a whole room's worth of accessories, you can just tap add all. So in my living room, I have many lights, but there are some of them that I actually want to control and some of them that I don't. So I'm gonna choose play one, play two, light strip, table lamp, floor lamp, canvas, and check this out. That is the name of my Apple TV. I'm gonna tap on that as well and I'll show you what that does here in a second. So now I have all of these chosen, all of these selected, and I can tap on done. Those are the only accessories that I wanna control. I don't wanna control any others. Now if you make a mistake, you can simply tap to deselect the item, and if you want to go ahead and restart, you just tap remove all and then it will completely deselect all of the accessories that you've chosen. So I'm gonna tap done, and now you can see all of the accessories that are here that you want to have in your scene. So now we need to go in and make individual adjustments to these accessories. So I'm gonna hold down on canvas, and I want, when I choose Let's Watch TV, I want the canvas to turn completely off. So you can see that it's already in the off position, so I will keep that in the off position. Then the floor lamp, I want it to stay on, but I want it to be at about, eh, let's go with 30% brightness and we'll give it a nice warm color. Same thing for my play lamps. We'll drop that to 30, make it warm. My other 30, make it warm. My light strip I want to be completely off, so I can just leave that there, you can see. 
and the table lamp I definitely want to be off. So there's just a little bit of mood lighting. I don't have all of the lights going. And then I'm gonna tap and hold down on my Apple TV here. And you can see that it changes between pause. So if there's something currently playing on the Apple TV, it will pause it and play, which of course is going to start playing it. Then I can scroll down to media. And if I wanted to, I can choose songs that I would want to play on the device. So one of these things that you'd want to do is uh, set the volume for the audio, perhaps. So maybe you have your Apple TV turned off and you're about to watch a show and you wanna make sure that it's not gonna blast you whenever it's just time to watch TV. Or maybe it was uh, adjusted to a very light temperature. So I can choose set custom volume and I'll set that to about mm, 75% or so. And we will go back to uh, oh, and I chose to adjust the volume only. I don't want it to affect the media at all. I just wanted to adjust the volume. Then you can see down here, there's uh, three options. Test this scene, which will actually trigger the accessories that you've set up. So it will do those things. It will drop the floor lamp to 30% brightness and set it to that warm color. It'll turn off the canvas light. It'll turn off the light strips, turn off the table lamp and will make those adjustments for everything. Add or remove accessories. That's if you wanted to add more accessories that you forgot to include as part of the scene. And then of course, include in favorites. So as you saw at the beginning, I had several different scenes right there in that top strip. And so I want this to be in my favorites. Then all I have to do is tap done. Now, if I go to my home, you can see that here at the end of my favorite scenes is an option that says, let's watch TV. Now what's super cool is that I can say, hey, Apple's smart assistant, let's watch TV, and it will trigger that scene. It will set the volume, as I mentioned before. It will turn off these certain lights and turn on certain lamps as well. So that is one example of a scene in the Home app for iOS. It's a very simple process uh, to, to set up a scene and control multiple accessories at once. So another thing that you should know is that going into these different rooms, you start to see scenes that exist in that area. So you had your favorite scenes, of course, but when you have multiple scenes for different rooms, those ones are going to show up in a given room. So my office doesn't currently have any scenes available, kitchen, same. In fact, most of the scenes that I have are in my living room and they are just ways to control my uh, canvas. There are different names for different scenes that folks have created for the canvas nano leaf panels that I have on my wall. Uh, so some of them have interesting names and some of them have more uh, specific names. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some other things that you can do with scenes uh, that, that kind of add to the power of them. So for example, I mentioned before, I've added a new scene, arriving home. This scene is using location information to make an adjustment to, uh, to your home. So you can see it's, it's already got a nice title. It's got a nice icon for arriving to my home. But do you see here, this is very cool. The automatic intelligence of Siri is at work to determine what accessories you want to control within your home in order to set the best arrive at home scene. So it's turning on certain lights in my master bedroom based on my activity. It's turning on lights in my living room, the office, the kitchen, the stairs, and it opens up my garage door automatically. I don't currently have this scene set up, but if I wanted to, I could very easily do that. And then because the home app has my location, it would automatically do these things when I arrive at home. Very cool scene that controls multiple accessories in my home. So that is the simple way of adding scenes. Let's quickly talk about if you have a scene that you don't wanna use anymore that you'd rather uh, remove. It's as easy as holding down on the scene until it pops up, scrolling all the way down to the bottom and choosing delete scene and confirming. And now that scene is gone. So scenes, they are a, it's a sort of bucket, uh, a way to t drop in all of the different accessories in your home or specific accessories to a given room and then control all of them at once in whatever way you see fit. Dropping the lights all at once, bringing up the lights, 
uh, setting a nice bedtime scene. That is what scenes do, as opposed to having to control things independently. So thank you for taking this brief tour with me through scenes on the Home app. Next, we're gonna talk about automation, so be sure to tune in. Of course, you can subscribe to this show twit.tv slash HOI. That has links to all the different ways to subscribe. And if you're a YouTube fan, then you head to youtube.com slash hands on iOS. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And of course, like the episode. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time on Hands on iOS.